The defense did one thing well today, very well. And it's, it's, I think it's actually very important. I think it'll be very important in the mind of the jury. It looks like the judge is going to dismiss the sixth count against Kyle, which is a minor in possession of a firearm or of a dangerous weapon. Got to stop saying firearm, a minor in possession of a dangerous weapon. The reason this is important is because it's possible that there's a juror who says, well, if he's there with a dangerous weapon and it's illegal for him to have that weapon, then, then he can't, uh, then he can't self-defend, right? There are a lot of people, you can find them on Twitter really fast. You can find that on Twitter really fast. Let me tell you what happened. This was this was expertly argued by Shirafisi. So I don't, again, I don't want to look like I'm dumping on the defense all day. It's it's crazy how important those 30 seconds of Mark Richards screwing up was, right? But Shirafisi had an excellent argument about this issue. And it's an issue I've long said, this does not apply to this case. This law does not say that Kyle Rittenhouse can be, he can't be found guilty of it as a matter of law is what I said. Shirafisi makes the argument that let me pull up the statute. This will be, this will be instructive because he caught something that I'm just saying it doesn't apply, but, um, he caught something in the statute that I had not particularly noticed. Okay. So here is the statute. Uh, let me pull it up. This is, this is critical to go through here. All right. Nope. Not that one. Here we go. Possession of a dangerous weapon by a person under 18. So, Dangerous weapon means any firearm, loaded or unloaded. So we're going to skip all the rest of it, even though it has metallic knuckles, uh, knuckles of a substance like metal, nunchaku, <laughs> two sticks of wood connected by rope. Doesn't matter. All right, so we've got the definition. Dangerous weapon means firearm, loaded or unloaded. We move down to number two, so we've got that. Any person under 18 years of age who possesses or goes armed with a dangerous weapon is guilty of a class A misdemeanor. All right. So we've got Kyle, under 18, possesses or goes armed with a dangerous weapon. We know that a dangerous weapon includes a firearm, loaded or unloaded. So we're there. All right, so then these are these are different charges for that. Doesn't matter. Here we go. 3A, these are the exceptions. Section does not apply to a person under 18 who possesses or is armed with a dangerous weapon when the dangerous weapon is being used in target practice under the supervision of an adult or in the course of instruction in the traditional and proper use of the dangerous weapon. You can maybe argue it, but probably not. Not credibly. 3B does not apply to a person under 18 years of age who is a member of the armed forces or National Guard or possesses or is armed in the line of duty. Nope, Kyle's not in there. Now we go to C. This is the critical section. Now, fucking Krause kept trying to argue that because 2A is fulfilled, that he's guilty. And the judge says that's not the whole statute. And this is why. 3C. This section applies only to a person under 18 years of age who possesses or is armed with a rifle or a shotgun if the person is in violation of 94.2 uh 941.28. And then he says something. Oh, no wonder I didn't notice. No wonder I did not notice. He says, semicolon, done. Right here. There's not actually a semicolon. But he's saying that the word or, and this is good lawyering, that the word or is effectively a semicolon. So, this section applies only to a person under 18 who possesses or is armed with a rifle or a shotgun if the person is in violation of 941.28 or, so this is short barrel rifles. I'm not going to go to it. This is short barreled rifles, right? Kyle does not have a short barrel rifle. He has a standard length rifle. So, or, so that one, boom, exception, 
or the next exception is not in compliance with this and this. So this is a hunting statute that applies to people 16 or younger. And if we have or, so we're in a separate clause, Kyle is not 16 or younger, so therefore you can't have this and this. You can't be, even if you're not in compliance here, you don't have to be in compliance here if you're over 16. Here we go. Let's open a new tab. Let's take a look. Persons under 12, 12 to 14, 14 to 16. No person 14 years of age or older, but under 16 years of age may hunt unless, and then it doesn't actually go on past that. So this on, these two only apply to 16-year-olds. And they both have to apply. This one does not. This one, I guess we can just open it and take a peek. Short-barreled shotgun or short-barreled rifle. So he expertly argued that this or operates as a stop. These are two separate exceptions. And he's right on that. Kyle cannot be in violation of these. So this sentence is gone. It's gone. And actually, if this is gone, uh, let's see. No, this is, this is different. Okay. So this doesn't matter. Um, this is a separate section talking about this. So everything from, from the or on, this doesn't apply to Kyle. So this is where it stops. And the judge agreed with Shirafisi. And so now what the state has to do is show that Kyle Rittenhouse is under 18 in possession of a dangerous weapon. And since the section only applies for a rifle or shotgun or wait is in that dangerous weapon is a rifle. And now since the uh, rifle is uh, a rifle or shotgun that they have to show that he's in violation of this. Those four things, the state cannot show the fourth one. The only testimony relating to the length of the barrel or the size of the gun overall comes from the defense asking the detective, was this the appropriate uh, size gun? That's it. That's the only testimony. They have The state has no testimony that this is a short barrel rifle or a short barrel shotgun. None. And so the judge said that uh, that Krauss has the burden right now to go through the evidence and find where they meet that element. And if they don't, he's going to dismiss it. That's what he said. So that is great. Hunter Vacui says, fuck the lawyers. Well, rude. Is it a short barrel rifle or not? No, it's not. It's a standard barrel rifle. It's it's illegal, by the way, to own a short barrel rifle in the state of Wisconsin.